Hey, welcome to another Q&A this week. We are going to flash at you with another high six mastermind call where we're brainstorming about working with virtual assistants. Um, I've got logic and theory and experience on how I ramped up and how I started and then some hindsight on that. So in this call, you're going to hear us all bantering about that. But I also want to encourage you to um, utilize the VAs we use. Like we've been training these guys for now 10 years, right? Right as of the time of this filming, 10 years we've been using some of the VAs that long. And others have been coddled and, and worked and trained over the years. So um, I'm going to make sure the team puts a link in here for you guys to go check out the VA service. That Why retrain someone? Why recreate the wheel? There's no need for it. So uh, enjoy this clip from a live high six call. Um, so the, the three of us, uh, it, it's been a challenge for us to just, you know, get the dial, get the dials going. We had a VA, it just kind of wasn't working out. So, um, we're all pretty busy. And so we finally decided like, look, that's w what we're doing. Cause we were getting bogged down with like admin tasks. And, and by the time we were done with like a lot of the, the, the kind of the mind numbing stuff that needed to get done, we were, you know, exhausted, right. You don't want to make calls, but um anyway so we hired an administrative assistant va and then we hired a cold calling va and then we actually got a friend of mine whose partner is especially sort of like putting the systems together so they speak so he's helping us get rei black book and mojo to speak and then he's tying in zapier for workflows so we're like in the process of getting this machine built so that we're not having to, you know, because again, Chris is really busy right now. I'm really busy. Josh is traveling with his W-2. Um, and I guess like, I guess my question is, is with your VAs, how often, Brian, Chris, whoever, how often are you getting with them? Um, are you doing it like once a week, twice a week, three times a week, like once we get them going next week? Because um, I think that was a struggle with our first VA is, you know, he was making the dials. We, we weren't really getting the leads, but we're also, we weren't following up with him enough. We weren't coaching him enough, I think. And I think that was part of the struggle. And then the other thing is the systems were clunky. So we're trying to get all that fixed. Um, Brian would be better than me on the VA thing because he trains a team. Brian and Rick, what do you think, Brian? Uh, for So for VAs, brand new, it's every day for probably at least a week, maybe two just to kind of get them up to speed. You know, it doesn't have to be long winded. Quick huddle. Just touch with them every day for a couple, one to two weeks. And then if you have multiple team members, right? Well, you guys should be doing this anyways. <laughs> you have at a minimum, a weekly meeting with the entire team, all including your VAs. And then you have one-to-ones with them for 30 minutes. And the one-to-one -one is the, like, on... the one-to-one -one is their to call. That. It's their call. Okay. So it's like when I have a one-to-one -one with MJ, she's she got. I say, okay, let's go. We do a positive focus. Let's go. And she's got everything that she needs help with. She's ready. Like it's not me dictating. I have a couple of things that I want to talk to her about, but it's all the stuff that she needs help on. Like like a coaching okay. call for us should be guys, right? Um, when I get on a phone with Rusty last night, it's what he does every time. He's at one of our coaches. I don't get on to teach him. I get on and say, what are your items? And he goes, boom, boom, boom. Brian, boom, boom, boom. Same with them. Yeah. Okay. It's not Chris, a master, Chris is not on the line. I don't know if you wanted to add anything. Um, regarding the VA. Yeah, I mean, um, so the, I was going to ask, with this VA, um, they've never used Wicked Smarts. Um, system before so um obviously when we're training them like with regards to training them on scripts and things do you recommend just like sitting down with them and really just like role playing for like one or two hours once they get kind of familiar with the scripts before they start um i guess how, how do you handle like that initial training of a va who hasn't um ever done it like with what we're doing with, with, with wicked smart didn't you do qls brian i know rick did yeah qls for yeah. sure yeah they gotta go have them go through QLS. QLS. That was like a light bulb for Rick. And when they, when she did it, it helped. Yeah. Seller calls, okay. live seller calls. That's cool. all. That's really good. Good advice. Um, yeah. Awesome. Give them the script. 
you know, you, and then you can yeah. download a bunch of VA calls. There's a bunch of uh, MJ's VA calls in the scripts and dialogue channels. Like call number one, three to five minutes. Just give them, give them those. Let, let them, this is what you need to say. That's a, that's a good call. Yeah. I didn't think about that. <laughs> and then I'm you guys, this might sound small, but if you want to just speed up efficiency, if you're probably already doing this, but Zach has changed in our teams, everything to Google Docs. So in your Google calendar for that, for that little huddle you're going to have, there's a Google Doc with the, with the items that they or you want to talk about. And it stays live. So Zach was off Friday and Monday. I handled the sales huddle. It's just a half hour sales huddle. But all I had to do is go to that Google Doc. The agenda was there. Everything that they populated. So use that as a working document. So you're not like trying to keep notes. You guys are busy. Use that online and, use, and keep the admin simple. That that's makes sense. I, yeah. Yeah. That's smart. It's right in the appointment. Does anyone have any questions as we're talking? Please butt in if you do. Like, just yell out. Oh, Mike, if you have anything to add, of course. So I'm starting with Les. Um, and I just heard from him today that um, he's got to check in with me to make sure everything's all set. So we've been just in the process doing the paperwork. We touched base last week. But um, that's pretty much it. But I don't really know, like, where he's at in the process. Like, has he gone through all the scripts and... Yeah, Les is a little different animal because he's not admin. He's just going to dial Fizbo's and you know, there's not much you can do about Les. <laughs> like, he's been dialing since 13 and good, bad, or otherwise he doesn't do anything but Fizbo's and he beats to his own drum, but he'll always send you leads. Okay. Um, if the market's a little tighter, he's only going to do Fizbo's. So you, you want to think about, do I need expires or am I going to handle expires, you know? Because um, yeah. I still use Les. I, to, me and Steve Murna call on Les leads right now in our market. Okay. So um, that might be, get to the point where it's a little challenging because yeah. there's only so many. Right. Right. So. so you want to think about the other, the other lead sources that you have. Uh, Brian, chime in here, of course, and Mike, but that's yeah. all he's going to do. <clears throat> he's specializing. That's it. I mean, so normally I should... he, he would, he'll find ways to find you leads. I've, I've used the last for many years too. Um, and uh, he has a way of, he, you don't really have to coach him on his leads right now. Um, he has definitely probably the most experience of anybody, but like, like Chris was saying, he strictly wants to call Fizbo's cause they'll pick up the phone more than likely than the expireds. Um, but he'll give you a good average, uh, with leads per hour is what I'm trying to say. So I would just keep track of that in the beginning, see how, what type of return you're getting on the, on the investment there on the VA side with him. And then slowly maybe integrate uh, a VA to strictly call expireds at a cheaper rate. Cause I know less is uh, what about 20 bucks or something still since 13. Yep. Yeah. yeah. So just play around with it. Uh, I mean, one, one lead per hour, one and a half. What do you guys think? One, one and a half leads per hour is, is he's, a good the, he's around there. If he has the inventory to your point, he will get resourceful. Yeah, he will. And he's very self-conscious. Like he wants to make sure you're happy. Right. But uh, add the add the expired duty, or, or as soon as you can get an office visit, and I don't know if you're scheduled yet, but as yeah. Tony knows, he was just in, we'll help you rip this apart further, but make sure you're getting your lead count per week. What are you getting now per, well, I know you had sidetracked, but what are you shooting for for weekly leads right now? So I, I was shooting for a hundred dials and I was getting close to like 20 leads. A week, that's great. Mm -hmm. Okay. I just want to make sure you're over 10. Yeah, 10 to 15, like the QLS says, every time someone comes in the office, you want to make sure they're at least hitting that. So good. So watch that ratio. If Les is giving you five, make sure you're in that range. I like that. Mm -hmm. You're doing 20 a week and you're, and you're utilizing Brian now. You're going to stir up some good stuff. Okay. Oh, yeah. It, yeah, if I got to follow up though. Are well, you getting 20 on your own or with what? With I, I, don't, I haven't had a VA yet. He hasn't started. So actually, let me grab my numbers because I had to do them all for Russell at the end of nine day. Yeah, that's because that's uh, that would mean if all numbers were true that you converted everybody you spoke to. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that's not true. You made 100 dials in a week. Yeah, you get 20. Yeah. Which is awesome, but I've, I've yet to no, see. No, I don't. That number. can't be. Let me just take a look here. So I had to report to. So from February 26th to April 25th, I did 432 dials. Live to dials was 
that was 108 and then live to leads. And I do this because of the definition of lead. Like it's not somebody that's like maybe really hot, but they're still- Doesn't matter. Yeah, okay. doesn't matter. And that was 54. So that was 50% there. So that they didn't say they sold or get lost, they were a lead and, and you talked to them yeah. live and you counted, yeah. I counted them, yeah. So 58, 59 leads? If live to leads was 54. I mean, out of that, you, I know the percentages, but it's fit. You had 58 leads in that window, that timeline that you just mentioned from April, whatever to 54. All right. Yeah. 432, then 108 and then 54 live to leads. It's enough to stir up a, a mess with the follow-up. So please lean on us if you need to, because yeah. there's, there's money in that file. Yeah. Yep. That was, that's been my challenge is the follow-up. And like I, I was making dials and the stack was just kind of getting there. And then I just felt so overwhelmed. I'm like, I've got to start getting back to these people. You know, I keep- Don't do, I thing, wouldn't so. do, I wouldn't do any new dials until you follow up with those people. You're leaving money on the table. If you've already spoken to them and there's somewhat yeah. of an, a chance to do some type of terms deal with you, um, do the follow-ups first and then then get to your new dials. Okay. Cause you're, you're, you're doing your new dials and I feel like it's going to waste because you're not yeah. following up with your leads. That's I how know, I other, felt too. Everyone else can try. Well, you also them. might get excited. Uh, I know you'll get excited by converting a few of those and then you want to do more dials. Right now you've got the opposite going on. You, you, right. you're yeah. mad at yourself. Um, Zach used to like new dials first. I used to always like follow up first, like Mike saying, cause I got warmed up and I got excited, but that was, right. you know, they're follow up. They're not high calls. Yeah. yeah. You know, on okay. the follow-up, make sure you introduce Brian or I as needed. Okay. Okay. Yeah, thanks. Anything to add, Brian? No, I was just saying, but my calculations, you have 58 leads from those 432 dials. Forget about the percentages. Like what Mike said, call every one of them until mm -hmm. you get through all of them. And then, and that, now you still have less helping you. So you're going to have some well, number ones. We're not getting well. new, yeah. yeah. Yeah, yeah. So just get through that. You'll feel a lot better, I think. Okay. Thank you.